Hi, I'm Nicole Erkin, Research Director for Mad Money, and I'm here with my brother, Ross Kenneth Erkin, Personal Finance Editor at The Street. Welcome back to What's Working, where we're highlighting young entrepreneurs and thinkers. And today we have uh, Brian Wolf, the CFO of Bonobos, with us. So, Brian, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Thanks for being here. Now, Bonobos was started in 2007 to correct the big problem of, of today's age, which is the khaki diaper butt. Yes. So, talk to us about how Bonobos has grown from that genesis in 2007 to today. Sure. So, we were started uh, to solve two problems. One, most clothing didn't fit men very well. And two, guys don't like to shop. Uh, the shopping experience isn't that much fun. Um, so we launched originally with, with pants, um, and that was our first product, and we sold pants only for our first three years. Now we sell an entire line of clothes, and uh, our shopping experience we think is a little bit better. We sell almost, uh, we sell majority, almost entire, 90% uh, of our sales are online e-commerce over the web. What's so. fascinating to me is that you guys have this e-commerce niche, but you've now gone brick and mortar uh, with these guide shops. Tell us about that. Right, so uh, you know, we started to make shopping easier, um, and we, we originally wanted to only sell online. Um, but for some guys, that's not easier. Some guys like to, to try clothing on before they buy it. It's, it's a very personal item. It touches your skin. It's how you present yourself. Um, so we created a, what we call Guide Shop, which is essentially an e-commerce showroom. It leverages our infrastructure to fulfill uh, direct to the consumer. And we have uh, showrooms where guys can come in, try stuff on, and then buy directly, and the clothing gets shipped to them in, in one to two days. Now it's interesting you mentioned you're targeting men and some men like to try on clothes. We were joking earlier, Ross in fact is wearing perhaps I have a pair diaper. I these diaper awful pants. khakis on. I'm so embarrassed <laughs> Ross, of all we can, days. We can help, Ross. <laughs> I'm glad you're here for that therapy. <laughs> but you mentioned that in some ways your job now is to check men out, that you're really targeting this men's market. Men have curves too. How did you know that this could be so successful, that it was important for men to fit well in addition to women? Yeah, so the men's demographic or men's market is, is still much smaller than the women's market, but it's right. growing at a faster rate. Mm -hmm. And this is a phenomenon we've seen over the last you know, three to four to five years. Um, and I think it, it, there's a lot of factors at play. Um, there's some demographics, but I think the underlying trends are guys these days um, in our demographic, mostly 20 to 40 year old guys, um, care more about their appearance. Where maybe 10 or 15 years ago, it was okay to, to dress slovenly and not care. Now, people care. So Ross, you may <laughs> still wear a pair of khakis that are, 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 aren't great, but at least you <laughs> notice and you care and you thought twice about it. And I think that's what's difference. That's the difference between today's guy. True. And you know, in terms of your strategic partnerships, you have Nordstrom as this great uh, distribution partner. How did you go about making that decision from a business standpoint? So uh, that's, I'm glad you mentioned that. We, um, we sell at Nordstrom stores. We're in 69 doors uh, throughout the country. Um, they've been a phenomenal partner to us. We have a, a wholesale relationship with them. Uh, they made an investment in the company uh, in, in 2012. And the reason why they did is we have similar DNAs. Uh, we're both customer first. Uh, companies that really focus on making sure customers have a great experience. Customer service is one of the core components of our brand. We've been around them since 07, predominantly online. They've been around since for 112 years, predominantly in brick and mortar stores. And we uh, we share learnings um, about how to how to best effect uh, best and most effectively uh, serve the customer. Interesting. And now as you're making customer first, you've joined in 2012 on the financial side, but you're also very involved in the business. What's next for Bonobos? Why was now the exciting time to join? What should we expect from you from here? Well, I think we, we just have a tremendous growth opportunity, right? Um, we, we about doubled the business last year. We're going to do something similar this year. Um, as you've mentioned, we've expanded into multiple channels. So we, we went into Nordstrom in 2012. Um, we opened our guide shops, our retail locations. We currently have five in the U.S one in New York on West 25th Street and 6th Avenue, Boston, Chicago, San Francisco, Washington, D.C. We'll probably double by the end of next year, early, early next year. We've also expanded our line. You know, we started with only pants. Now we sell suits. We sell uh, this pocket square, this uh, dress shirts, uh, sport shirts, uh, polos, knits, sweaters, Oxfords, pretty much a, a, an entire line. So, especially with the men's market growing in, with Ross as a potential customer. The market starts here, Nicole. The market yeah. starts right here. <laughs> well, Brian, thank you very much. A very exciting company. Bonobos, Thanks, it's one that maybe in 2007 not many had heard of, but you're not in the know if you haven't heard of it today. Keep track. Thank you to Brian Wolf for joining us. I'm Nicole Erkin with Ross Kenneth Erkin. What's working? Stick with us. Thanks.